Hey guys, Fall of Meerkats here, and today I'll be reacting to Ruby Volume 6 soundtrack. So yeah, the soundtrack is finally here. We're finally again, like, with something related to Ruby. I've been starved for some Ruby content. Like, seriously, we didn't have anything. Like, we didn't have Ruby Chibi or, like, anything really and rtx is next week and we finally got the soundtrack though like i've been waiting for this i remember like making posts about it on tumblr and like screaming to the void about where the soundtrack is because i really needed the soundtrack i can't wait for this my body is ready i'm ready i'm so freaking ready but like i'm also kind of scared to be honest I mean, I feel like this is gonna be fun to listen to, but I also feel like it's gonna hurt me, in a way, but who knows, really. But yeah, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. I know I've been kind of, like, away from YouTube, and it's basically because of work. Like, work has been hell, literally. Especially today. Today was just such a long day, and I totally want to forget it so i was like you know what i'm just gonna listen to the new soundtrack and i'm gonna enjoy it and forget about work forget about anything i'm so freaking ready for this and actually i've been making videos but i haven't been able to put them on youtube like you, if you go to my patreon you'll be able to see like it's because of the copyright issues on YouTube. I mean, I've been reacting to Shira and the Dragon Prince, but they're only on my Patreon because of copyright issues. I mean, I tried to upload them on YouTube a couple of times, and I made them shorter with the help of my editor, but it didn't work because they're checking the videos manu manually. But I'm gonna find a way to put them on YouTube so that you guys can see the shorter versions of my Dragon Prince and Shira reactions. But if you go to my Patreon, you'll be able to see all of my contents. But yeah, hopefully I'll be posting more videos on YouTube soon. Also, today, like, is my first day wearing my Yank hoodie. I mean, I had to wear this hoodie because, like, this is the freaking soundtrack. This is the Ruby soundtrack. And I I'm so ready and I had to wear something related to Ruby. I'm so freaking ready, I'm so hyped, like, I didn't even check the song titles. I blacklisted Ruby from everywhere on social media, and it was killing me because almost all of my social media content is Ruby. I mean, my personal Tumblr is not that much, but I still follow, like, Ruby bloggers, so I had to blacklist every single Ruby tag, and it was painful. Like, I wanna- I wanna check my dash and see what's going on, but I just can't. I couldn't. But from now on, I'll be able to see them. So yeah, I'm ready. I really am hyped for this. Like, Ruby always makes me hype. And I've been kind of feeling down, but right now that I sit in this chair, like, sit on this chair and looking at the screen, I'm ready and I'm hyped. I feel like I'm feeling things again as a depressed person. I haven't I'm in depression, but Ruby is like my antidepressant. It is a blessing. It's making me it's making me happy, so let's 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 just watch it. Alright. Not watch it, listen to it. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, you, you get my point. So I'm gonna react to this soundtrack just like I did last year. I mean, I don't know if you've seen my um, Ruby Volume 5 soundtrack reaction, but on that reaction I put the lyrics of the songs right here and like make you guys follow the lyrics with me since I'm not a native speaker. It's kind of hard for me to pick up the lyrics from time to time. And this time, this year, my friend Yana and Bethany, they helped me to collect the lyrics and Yana even prepared a word file for me so you guys can see right here um, I just changed the background color and such but yeah, she prepared a freaking word file for me I love you so much, Yana Thank you So you guys are gonna follow the song lyrics from there 
and and yes that's basically it like i downloaded the album on spotify and i'm ready how long i've been talking it's been almost eight minutes oh i'm sorry i'm already rambling and i haven't even started listening to the soundtrack this is gonna be a long ass video and it's gonna be painful to edit but anyway i didn't even look at the titles let, let's let's just let me put this here all right so the first one is of course rising and this is the opening song miracle i'm so curious about miracle this is the one with the piano and they were fighting in the train and when i first listened to the to that song i was like holy shit i love the piano in this and i've been dying to listen to the whole thing so i'm i'm really excited about miracle one thing I don't remember what one thing was. Light Eyes, it's Adam's song. Big Metal Shoe, of course. The fight with the Mecca. Nevermore. Like, come on. I kept listening to this song in the hiatus. And I'm, not, I'm still not over it. Indomitable. This was when Ruby did her thing and it had Monty's coat in it, if I remember it correctly. Ooh, forever fall. Ah, this is gonna hurt, I'm sure. <laughs> Armed and ready acoustic. Wow, we got, we got like arms and ready, but I don't know. I don't know how to feel about acoustic songs, but we'll see, I guess. I mean, I usually prefer the original songs and stuff. And we have remixes, the triumph, the path to isolation. All right, and I think these are the uh, instrumental ones. All right, all right. Okay. Um. By the way, I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna react to the remixes. Um. I think I'm gonna end the video with. I'm not really acoustic, and that's gonna be it. But yeah, guys, I can't wait. Oh, I just realized you can see my full name here. Oh shit! I'm gonna have to edit this out. For me, this is literally my full name on the screen. <laughs> Why am I like this? Ah, oh, this is this is gonna be painful to edit. Anyway, I'm sure I can edit it somehow. <laughs> I can do it. Anyway, okay. Let me put this out. And we're gonna start with... So we're gonna start with Rising, the opening song of Ruby. Alright. Let's let's start listening to the soundtrack. So rising starts in three, two, one, and now I missed the song. Open up my teeth.
this was awesome. This was great. And thank you, Blood Raven 55 for these lyrics. You saved my life. <laughs> but yeah, um, this song is basically about how our team is not giving up, even though a lot of shit happened. They just, they're just not gonna give up and they're gonna stop Salem and it's such a catchy song. I love it. I love that guitar solo part. It was awesome. Perfect. It was perfect. Okay, the next song, Miracle. Now, like I, like I told you guys, I can't wait for this. I love that piano part. I can't wait for this shit. I honestly can't wait. So yeah, let's go with Miracle. Amazing. I'm gonna love this song. I love this song so much when I first like heard it in the show. It's so good. It's so freaking good.
what an ending. This song is so good. This song is so freaking good. Okay, as of now, this song is right there with Nevermore for me. Like, Nevermore is obviously my favorite. As of now, I mean, I don't know about the other songs, but this one is also a favorite. Like, okay, let's put Nevermore first and Miracle on the second place. It's just so good. It's so good. And I loved how Casey changed her tone after one part. Like, where where was it? Um, um around here somewhere. <laughs> All of it pointless, nothing gained, all in vain, going down, under siege, sinking fast, crumbling quickly, fear and shame, there was pain, better run. Oh, abominations all around us. At this part, the song turned dark, like darker, and it was awesome. It was such a great change. I loved it. And then we ended the song with, with, with the same melody, with the uh, same piano melody and then with one single note the song ended i loved it i loved it it was it was great i'm fangirling the song is awesome let, let me check the lyrics um okay so it's interesting that in the first song in the opening it's all positive like you know we're gonna win we're not giving up but in miracle it suddenly changes, it shifts to something more negative. Like, time and time again it seems we reach to the point where all our dreams are crumbling around us. Every outcome and just every step it seems has led us further from our goal instead. It's negative. Our triumphs haven't mattered. Hold on, this was triumph. No, um, Triumph was another opening song, if I remembered correctly. Was it Volume 5? I think it's Volume Five's like, opening song's name. So, I think this line here refers to the opening of Volume 5. Our triumphs haven't mattered, you know? Everything is going to shit! <laughs> so... Oh yeah, in Triumph, I think, if I remembered correctly, like, they were positive about, like, um... Defeating Salem and stuff, but in here they're like we're drifting ever backwards and we're running out of time Nowhere near the finish line and it's growing ever clear that a reckoning is near and we'll have to make a choice And this part is actually really important Is this path right or is it made of lies? so this line refers to how Ospin have been lying to them and they're questioning that if they're on the right path or not. Is he just fooling them? Is it all just another one of his lies? Are they on the right path? They're, they're questioning things. We're looking in ourselves and trusting in the light and a, and a miracle is all we need, but there isn't one in sight. Each and every passing day, our world is further disarray, confidence descending. Where's our happy ending? <sighs> Desperations rising on hopeless bleak horizons. Every life is on the line. Can't wait here for a sign. And just like the blood that's shed, every cancer is sure to spread. And the time to act is soon, we're now in sight. We're born to do what's right. Desire to preserve life is powering the lights. We're praying for a miracle. But for now, we'll stand and fight. And after this part, yeah, it turned darker in the song. I loved it. I loved it. Abominations all around us, the grim, striving, destroying every hope of justice. Still we climb, soon one day, our fate will be revived, we'll wake to see the light. And a miracle, yeah, a miracle, is waiting there. Oh, I swear it showed a better feeling, I'm not totally sure about this line. Oh, okay, this is a note, I didn't... <laughs> a miracle right in front of our eyes. 
and after it turned dark, suddenly it became kind of positive, you know, even though all of this stuff is happening and we're filled with abominations, still, we climb, we're not running. We're climbing and we're waiting for that miracle. I love this song. It's a fave. Again, Blood Draven 55 thank you so much. You're Bethany. This is Bethany, by the way. I don't know if I should call you with your username or your real name. <laughs> I mean, anyway, thank you for the lyrics. All right, the third song is One Thing, Kill for Kill. I've... Oh, I think it's a Neo song. Okay, now I remember. This is, this is Neo's theme song. I'm curious about this one because, you know, Neo is mute. We don't know anything about her. So, writing a song for her is a really good way for us, the weavers, to learn more stuff about her. So, I'll be pay paying attention to the lyrics of the song more. Because I'm curious about Neo. Because, you know, we know nothing about her. Let's go. There we go. In this part, Neo showed up for the first time in a really long time in the show. I love the guitar. Kill for kill, eye for eye, blood for blood. Wow. 
Okay, I love this song. It's awesome. It's awesome. Okay, this is for now, as of now, it's it's in the third place for me. Like Nevermore, Miracle, and One Thing. And then um the opening song. Kill for kill, eye for eye, blood for blood, it's time to die. I mean this song started playing when Neo and Cinder were fighting, so I assume this whole song, in this whole song, Neo is singing this to Cinder. And rip, seriously, Cinder. Neo might be beside you, but she's looking for a moment to kill you, probably. Um, so yeah, you, you better watch out. Seriously. Gone's the light that he gave, so Roman gave her a light. Now revenge is all I crave, retaliation soon complete. I was nowhere. I had no one. I felt nothing, lost without a voice and on my own. This is deep. Down the candle's flame brought a brand new name. So I assume Roman gave her a new name. Like Neo is the name that he gave her. So before that her name was something else. Maybe maybe she had no name. Like she was nowhere. She had no one. She felt nothing. When are you stalling everything and I'm all alone? You took away Roman. I mean she blames Cinder for the loss of Roman Torchwick. I had one thing and you've taken it from me. A single light. A single friend. But you made that end. There is one thing to help escape the misery. This is actually sad. And now it's all disarrayed. You took my whole life away. Roman was her only friend and her whole life, apparently. You sent me back to nothing. Now you'll pay. Life for life, death for death. Tit for tat, just one last breath. Absolute absolutions nowhere near. Cue to see, now it's time. Repariation for your crime and judgment date is finally here. I'm here to murder you. <laughs> so that's literally what that is. I have waited for this meeting, for this moment, dreamed about the day I'd made you crawl. What a sweet release, when you rest in peace. This was so strong. I was like, wow, okay, okay. Vengeance, justice, finally mine, and I'll watch you fall. I had one thing, and you've taken it away from me. You destroyed my life after years of suffering, finally had a place to go, but not anymore. And now it's war, and there won't be peace till I get what I came for. So this line is important right here. And there won't be peace till I get what I came for, which means I'm gonna kill you, Cinder, eventually. I'm watching. You know, I, I know you're stronger, but I'm watching and I'm gonna find a way to kick your ass. I'm gonna murder you. So yeah. Now you'll pay. Now you'll pay. Oh boy. Cinder better watch out. Seriously. Lyrics provided by Sir Adamus or... Am I, am I pronouncing it right? Anyway, thank you for providing the lyrics. And Yana, thanks again for, like, preparing this word file. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Alright, next we have Lion Eyes. Oh, this is Adam's song. Okay, I'm curious about this one as well. Let's see what the song's about. <laughs> played in Adam character shorts and that was it. I kind of forgot how the song was honestly. Let's see. Okay. 
Hey. something um it shows us how screwed up Adam is let's see the lyrics I loved the uh, guitar solo by the way in the middle of the song it was awesome and like the melody of the song the lyrics how Jess was singing it they all fit perfectly for Adam, like, this is clearly an Adam song. Like, it fits him perfectly, honestly. It's it's great. It's such a great character song. Taunts and tortured in Souls and Reveals. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Anyway. Human overlord since I was a child. Surrounded by weaklings. He sees himself stronger than anyone. Pathetic and oppressed, like, dude, come on. He sees the other fawn as pathetic and oppressed. They're afraid to leave the nest. Don't apologize for retribution. Punishment is well deserved. This is fucked up. Subjugate humanity who's robbed us of our pride. Watch them fall as I am glorified. You'll see I'm their hero. Like, this line right here 
clearly says that you're not their hero. You're just the selfish son of a bitch. Anyway, all the lionized. And like there, there, there was a line about this, um, and never more. Uh, let me check actually. The uh, yes, here. Um, where was it? The goal of a savior is not to be lionized. That dude is right there telling stuff like, "I'm gonna be lionized," and and here, Yang says the goal of a savior is not to be lionized. Like this whole thing, this whole song. I mean, Nevermore is a song that was, like, singing by Blake and Yang, and they're singing it to Adam. It's like, it is a reply to the song Lionized. Like, we started with Lionized, we've seen what Adam was thinking about himself, and then we've got this song right here and learned what Blake and Yang have been feeling about this. He talked of subjugation. You think you're someone's hero, and in Lionized he says that he's their hero. But no. I challenge your weak manifesto to go off a series not to be lionized. This is a reply. You offered hope salvation, gave me a place to be, but your vision of liberation was all about you, but no reply to me. So yeah. There's no cause to celebrate another soul consumed by hate and spite, another destroyed life. And Yeah. Um and in, in Lionized we See that he says, like, he talks about this, like, taunted and tortured, insulted and reveals. You know, since I was a child, I've been tortured by human overlords, so now I'm gonna be their hero, I'm gonna be lionized. He lost his way, clearly, and we can see that from his song as well. And he sees humans as, like, monsters, and he hates them, and he thinks that it's right to punish them. And... He thinks that other other faunas are weak. They're afraid to leave the nest. And he is the strong one. He is the one who is capable of fixing things like revenge their lives. You know, it's... <sighs> Terminate, annihilate our enemies. Enemies will stay. Destroy them all when I am glorified. I'm here, I'm your savior, I'll be lionized. Nope. The goal of a savior is not to be lionized, Adam. Nope. So yeah, this song fits Adam so well, and I loved it. I loved the song. It was great. It was awesome. Especially the guitar part. Thank you again, Blood Raven 55 for the lyrics. Let's move on with Big Metal Shoe. This is an interesting start, I wasn't expecting this. This is like a lullaby. Okay. I was not expecting that either. Okay.
Frame. Beat you, hickory, dickory, oh. flawless victory. Carve your tail like three. My mic's better listen up. Not saying it twice. Bring around so Rosie. So you can't oppose me. Let you know now. I'm here to take you down. You're gonna lead your enemies. Blink your nose. Pretend that you're all pain. Your star won't twinkle. Squeeze to a wrinkle. Bloody up the scene. A nightmare is fiend. London Bridge down. Can't make sound. Who's in the bus? Just been crushed. Okay. Hey, my time for you to die. Catch him by the toe. Never letting go. No time to pray. It's your last day. A B C D. You can't see me. Awesome. This is such a great song. Oh my god. It is so catchy. It is so catchy. I love it. And like the part where it was like where it started like a move by and then we switched to a rock song. It was awesome. It was awesome. And the song was overall, it was awesome. I had to check the lyrics though. I was so focused on like the melody and stuff, I couldn't like focus on the lyrics much. Check you out in your big metal shoes, fighting so many kids don't know what to do. So this like this it's like this song is singing to Cordovan, like you know. It's like you're in a big metal shoe with that thing, and you're fighting with so many kids and you don't even know what you're doing. You got some heavy metal, but Big ain't bad. This little riding hood's just way too rad. Mirror, mirror, who will lose it all? Some we whip those children, or your cradle's gonna fall. Cause I'm alive like a puppet with a heartbeat. I'm on fire and I'm flying off the dope sheets. You're gonna wince up like that robin at your last tweet. You're heading for a fall and you're nearing the end. Like a house made of straw, no one's putting it together again. Let's get nimble and you better be quick, or I'm going to break your bones with some stones and sticks. So run, run, run as fast as you can. You better make a wish like the fisherman. Guess who is falling down? And you're bound to break your crown in the race. You're gonna get burned like a weasel till you reach me. Your sky's gonna fall, you'll be feeling the pain. You'd be great and terrible, but only if you had a brain. <laughs> burn. You, you would be great and terrible, but only if you had a brain. Ouch. Pop goes the whistle, time to defeat you. Hickory dickory, flawless victory. Calm your tail like the three blind mice. Now, listen up, I'm not saying it twice. Ring around the rosy, you can't oppose me. Unless you know now, I'm here to take you down. You're gonna reach your ends, no more pretending. Sparkle, twinkle, squeeze to a wrinkle. <laughs> London Bridge is down, you can't make a sound. The wheels on your bus have just been crushed. Eeny, meeny, money, time for you to die. Catch, catch him by the toe, never letting go. Okay, so this is basically like Cordovan. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> do, you, do you have any brain cells? I'm just gonna take you down. This is what this song is about. This is what it is. Oh, and your robot looks like a big metal shoe. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. Your bass looks like a big metal shoe. It's hilarious. That's that's what this song is about. And thank you, Yana and Bethany, for providing this lyric to me. Thank you so much. Now we have no more. Okay. I mean, I, I memorized the song, but I'm always up for listening to it, so let's go. I love this song. It's an amazing song, guys. Will I be afraid? No, will I run away? It's behind me. I can already hear you guys' voice. You guys are singing with me, right? Let's sing it together. I'm sorry for torture, but you know. But I'll leave in the score. You won the battle. You won the war.
more, not now. And never more. Amazing song. I don't know if I should make a comment on this, like, or not, because I think... Did I ever talk about my, like, thoughts about this song? Oh, anyway, let, let me talk for a little bit. Okay, first of all, I listened to the song more than 80 times or something. Literally, I'm not exaggerating. Like, I listened to the song way too many times. I mean, ever since I realized that this song is a B song, I'm just, you know, the song is just so great. The melody, the singing, like everything, but it's also a song that's been singing from the bees to Adam. Like, how freaking cool is that? How freaking cool is that? Anyway, this is basically a song that says from Blake and Yang, they're like, you may have screwed us, like, screwed our lives, but not anymore. Bye-bye. I mean, this is sad. You had a tragic life, and you made mistakes, and you won't be able to torture us anymore. You know? Like, this song has a lot of stuff in it. I mean, it shows us that how manipulative Adam was towards Blake, and he basically used her, but she, now she thinks she's, like, now she, I can't talk, <laughs> I'm sorry, now she, I can't talk, what the heck, now she sees things clearly, there we go, I can't even with sometimes. But yeah, this is basically a song about that. And I don't know. It's just. You tortured my heart and my head, but not anymore. Freedom is finally here. You may have taken a leap, but I'll even the score. Like, it's a duet. And, like, it's Blake singing, and then Yang singing, and then Blake singing. Like, you know what would be cool? Like, if I were ever up to it, like, but I, I don't think I can do it. I don't have the time. A piano cover of the song, okay? And two people are gonna, like, play the piano. And if if they can, it, it that would be great if they, like, cosplay as Blake and Yang. Like, two girls playing the piano together. And right in front of the piano, a guy with an Adam cosplay, but he's just on the ground, like, he's dead, more dead than ever, and the bees are just playing the piano and, like, singing the song, or just playing the piano, like, just, just the piano cover without the, without the lyrics and stuff. I would love to make a video like that, but I don't have the time, I also can't cosplay, so I'm just putting the idea out there, if, if any of you talented cosplayers and like, musicians wants to do it, I'm all up for it. Just let me know if you ever want to make a video like that one. Like, please, that would be awesome. But yeah, I love this song, guys. It's my favorite, if you can't tell already. Also, I'm sorry, because, like, I sang. Like, I, I couldn't help myself, and I'm sorry about my voice. Alright, Indomitable. So, this song was playing when... Ruby used her silver eyes in, in, in the uh, finale of Volume 6, and we only heard like a couple of lines, if I remember correctly, and one of them was, um, one of them was Monty's quote, so I don't know what to expect from this song, but we'll see. Alrighty, so let's go at Indomitable. I met a man, he had a dream I tried to understand, but nothing was what it seemed Sometimes, that's how God 
Let's roll. This is about Monty. We'd sit for hours. He'd share his plans to build a universe and make every part by hand. A big scheme with an infinite goal. So I would watch and listen and try to learn as the pieces and bits became whole. But there was more going. Than the work at hand, what a learn had to do with the strength of oh the soul. God. There's a light that shines, and its so power is mine. Though our bodies weak and break up, the spirit. So step by step and frame by frame, a world created, its map fashioned from a stain. Just dream big, then work till it grows. It's I learned this lesson, we can evolve, achieving anything as long as for this one um I honestly don't know uh what to say I mean I I knew that there was a line 
from from Monty, but I didn't like expect the uh, whole song to be from Monty, if if that makes sense. And I can't even imagine how hard it must be for Casey to sing this. I mean, the this, this song literally explains, like, the creation of Ruby, how they, you know, I met a man, he had a dream, I try to understand. Everything was what it seems, sometimes that's how I got With C4 hours, he shared his plans to build a universe. He, he, he builds a universe. A very unique one. And it got bigger. And now everyone knows, like, it's, it's in the everywhere, even I know, even though I'm, I'm, I'm really far away from, from US and a big team with an infinite goal. <laughs> So I watch and listen and try to learn as pieces and bits became whole. But there was more going on than the work at hand. What I learned how to do with the strength of the soul. There's a light that shines and its power is mine. Though our bodies we can break, all the spirit is indomitable. Just turn back when. I'm work till it grows. Okay, this is hurting me to read. So how about I don't read this one and go go to the next song instead? Because like reading this is making me um feel things. I don't like feeling things sometimes, especially when I'm in front of the camera. So how about we move on? God, I don't think I I don't know. If I'll, like, listen to the song again, because, like, look at these lyrics. It, it was a powerful song. With, with, with Melody and with, with Casey's voice, with, like, how, how she was singing it. Anyway. <laughs> the goal is not to live forever, because eternity loves the creations of time. There's a light that shines and it's power in mine. The the uh the part in the episode was this one, like how Casey was singing it while Okay. Don't be afraid, get up, get going. A step every day, I'll meet you there when we strive. Death cannot end our climb. And yeah, that's true, Monty, like his creation just keeps growing, it keeps getting better, and it's reached to more people, and it changes lives. This part right here, this, this must be so hard for Casey to sing. I wasn't ready. You can't prepare for the unthinkable, for something that's so unfair. It's cruel, but that's how life goes, that's true. That's so true. But through the sadness, thousands of tears, we see his message sparkling and crystal clear. Our work is larger than we know. That's true. Oh boy. Hmm. Thanks guys for the lyrics. Ah, uh, they killed me, basically. I don't want to focus on this song. That's... It's too much. Um... Oh shit, are you kidding me? It's Forever Fall. Right after this song. Why? Why are you guys doing this? Um. This is gonna hurt too, you know. Um. <sighs> okay. Right after Indomitable, Forever Fall. Here we come. This is gonna be fun. God. Okay. This is not fair. Once 
like a dream. You lose I'm pretty sure this is Piro singing this to John. Like. People fall in love for life Others never get it right Love's fickle when it calls One thing that I know for sure Longer than our lives endure You're mine You're my final goal. Some people fall in love for life, others never get it right. Love's fickle when it calls. One thing that I know for sure longer than. seconds. <sighs> 
<sighs> okay, I'm fine. <clears throat> I'm having a hard time breathing. <laughs> this is too much. Okay, first of all, putting a song right after Indomitable is not fair. It really is not fair, you know? Like, at least, at least give us something fun beforehand and then, and then switch to this and, and, you know? Okay, the lyrics of the song is... They're, they're beautiful. Like, when you're looking at it all together, um... I still don't get how Pira <laughs> fell in love like this, like this. I. I honestly don't want to read this. Um, it's my destiny to be in love like this. This. <sighs> this is infinite. Nothing's. Nothing, even death, could separate our souls, cause you're my final goal. <laughs> and, like... Just, just think about the moment in Volume 6 and how Pyrrha so shows up to show Jean the true path to guide him. You're my forever fall. You set me free, so what the world couldn't see, I found my joy in you. Every life is filled with passing moments, like the seasons change, they come and go, but this is infinite. You're, you're my, you're my forever fall. <laughs> This was beautiful. I don't think I will listen to it much though for because of reasons. Um yeah, this 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 was beautiful, but I I'm not I'm not gonna listen to it a lot. Um because it's it's hurting me. Um like indomitable as well. They're they're beautiful, but like I mean it's the same with all that matters. I love this that song to death. But up until this point, at max, I listened to it like at max six or seven times. I'm not joking, like, I, I love the song itself, but it's just so painful to listen to it. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the, these two songs that I've just listened to. I, I don't I don't know how many times I will listen to them um, again. It's late, by the way. It's getting close to 1 a.m. And I have work tomorrow. And, um... You know, I was, I was like this. You know, oh, this, this is such a fun song. I love the guitar. And then Indomitable showed up. And then Forever Fall showed up. And I'm like, no, no, um... I have an, another song to listen to, I saw I'm not ready, a quest, uh... What the heck is this emoji? Okay, I didn't put this emoji, like I said, this is Yana who prepared the the, the file. What is this, Yana? What, what, what the heck is this emoji? Why? Like, why? Anyway. Um, just, just know that, guys, I didn't put this emoji here. <laughs> but this is Yana, apparently she thinks that it fits this song, um... Like, instead of putting this here, you should have put cry put a crying emoji in, in, in one of these songs, right? Here. Like, Indomitable and, and, and Forever Fall. You could have just put a crying emoji in one of those. Um. Well, I'm glad that I didn't listen to this when I was on my periods, because... Then I would have turned into a mess, but right now I'm strong. 
<sighs> but it's like I seriously have a hard time breathing. Um, for some reason. Anyway, let's let's listen to Arms Already Acoustic. I mean, I I love Arms Already, so I'm sure I'm gonna love this one as well. Like Arms Already is a banger. I don't know how the acoustic version would be, but. Wasn't an acoustic that I expect the ones. <laughs> this is like a freaking cowboy music, okay? I was like fixing this. It happens every night. I watch my world ignite, but there's no waking from this nightmare. Wow. The stage is always set. The place I can't forget. The hidden I have eyes a that I can feel that. that Jeff, they, they heard about <laughs> they, they, they heard about me. Oh my fucking god! Are you serious? They know me. My eyes are open wide. I'm racing to a side. There's nothing there. Again and again, because this is hilarious. <laughs> okay, be <Beyond. laughs> Yeah, 
Thanks. Beha. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you guys did this. Like this 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 happens because of you guys. This song exists because of Beha. You can't change my mind. This thing right here in the official soundtrack because of Beha. And probably because of yours. I'm not sh I'm not so sure. I just don't wanna think about it. If you don't know what yours is, just you're good. Don't 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 look it up. Stick to Beha. <laughs> but wow, okay, this emoji makes sense now. <laughs> Yana, I, I understand now. But yeah, holy shit. We we got a cowboy yank song. Who would have thought? I wasn't expecting like when when I like saw the acoustic thing I was expecting like you know I, I I wasn't expecting this you know I was expecting a classic you know acoustic song you know how acoustic songs are acoustic covers are this this, this wasn't what I was expecting um they should re rename this thing and turn it into Beehaw or something like seriously oh my goodness. Okay, so as you all know, this in the song, Yang is like, you know, you defeated me, but I'm but I'm gonna come and kick your ass, and she did with Blake. So <laughs> oh, this was great. Oh my goodness. But yeah, guys, I'm not gonna um react to the remixes. But holy shit. This soundtrack was incredible. It was awesome. If I were to make a list, now or more, it's the top one. I'm a huge rap fan and I loved everything in Miracle. So, Miracle is my number two. And then I would say. Where is it? Indomitable? I couldn't find it! <laughs> anyway, Indomitable is my number three. I think that's my number three. I can't, I can't count right now. I'm so sleepy. Then I'm gonna go up ahead and say Lionized is my number four. I loved it. And then I'm gonna go and say Big Metal Shoes as my number five. Because it was so catchy. And of course, Forever Fall, goddammit. <laughs> I'm not gonna listen to it. it. It hurts me to listen to it. And then I'm gonna go with The Opening Rising. Overall, like, there isn't even one song that I didn't like. I loved all of them. So even though, like, I put them, um, like, like, I ranked them, they're all really close to each other because I enjoyed all of them. But some of them hurt me, so I'm not gonna listen to them as much as I do the others. I, mean, I downloaded the album on my phone and, uh, and on my PC on Spotify and it's like I'm so glad that they put it on Spotify really soon. Like, like for volume 5 I had to wait for months and it wasn't fun, um, but I was being patient. But still, I'm gonna keep listening to the songs, but those particular two songs, I'm not gonna listen to them a lot because they hurt me. Um, but I love the soundtrack. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you so much, Casey. It's amazing. The soundtrack is amazing. Like I'm sure it's it's you these like these songs. Some of these songs are gonna be on my top five on spotify like whenever spotify does this like end of the year thingies like jeff and casey they're always on my top lists they're always there they're fixed ever since i joined the fandom i keep listening to ruby soundtracks because they're just so good and this wasn't an exception again 
an amazing soundtrack and I can't wait to listen to the whole album when I mean, mean like the whole album, the um, instrumental ones, the remixes, like the whole thing. I'm gonna listen to the whole thing tomorrow while I'm going to work. But like, amazing. This felt so good, like I was starved for more Ruby content and this this made me happy and also made me sad but overall made me happy this was such an amazing soundtrack and yeah this this how long this oh we're getting close to two hours um this is not good <laughs> this is not good this is gonna be a pain to edit but i have to edit it soon so, guys, so that you guys can see it fast but yeah guys um i'll i'll try to put videos on youtube um it's just been kind of tough like life has been rough for me um and i've been dealing with some things um work included uh but it's but it's getting better and i'm gonna try to update like my channel more often and of course you guys are gonna see me constantly in ruby season like i'm, I'm gonna be waiting for rtx i'm gonna like try to get all of the news from rtx and then here comes volume 7 i can't wait for that and for volume 7 i'm planning on making live streams every week so yeah i'm i'm, I'm gonna try to make that a thing so stay tuned for that so you might see me a little bit more than you used to in the season of Ruby, but we'll see. We'll see. I just, I just can't wait. Like, please, like Ruby, Ruby is one of the best things in my life. Like how how they put it into words in Indomitable. It's just this huge thing, this man's Monty's world. It's even though he's gone now, his legacy continues to grow and it's reached to millions of people and i'm one of them and his story it changed my life literally it changed my life and i owe him a lot thank you so much for all of your work monty and thank you jeff and casey for this amazing soundtrack i love this I loved it so much. Thank you so much. Like seriously, I'm gonna keep listening to this on repeat for a really long time. So yeah. This was my reaction to Ruby Volume 6 soundtrack. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. <laughs>